Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Florida A. Manjola, your math teacher for this school year. Our lesson for the day is solving for the end term of arithmetic sequence. Are you excited to learn more about math? Then let's go! Okay, let's start. A supermarket displays canned goods by stacking them so that there are 10 rows of cans with 3 cans in the top row. If each row below the top row had two more cans than the rows above it, how many cans could there be at the bottom now? In the given, the top row has three canned goods. The next row below had two more cans and that is five. Next to it is the third row has seven canned goods. How many canned goods there be in the tenth row? If your answer is 21, then you are correct. Okay, let's figure out. In our first row, we have three canned goods. On our second row, we have two more canned goods, and that is five, and so on. To better understand it, we will put it in a table. In our fourth row, we have nine canned goods. On our fifth row, we have... 11. On our 6th row, we have 13. Very good. On our 7th row, we have 15. On our 8th row, we have 17 canned goods. On our ninth row, we have 19 canned goods. And for the 10th row, we have 21. That is why the answer is 21. Here's another question for you. Are there other ways in solving for the end term in a sequence? The answer is yes. By using the arithmetic sequence formula, we know that arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers which increases or decreases by a constant amount each term. The formula for arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, where a sub n is equal to the nth term. a sub 1 is equal to the first term and d is the common difference. To better understand this, let's try example number 1. Find the 12th term of the arithmetic sequence 2, 7, 12, and so on. First, we find a sub 1, common difference, and the nth term. a sub 1 here is 2. That is the first term. Next is the common difference. To solve for the common difference or d, subtract the previous term from the present term. d is equal to 7 minus 2, then it is 5. Last is the nth term. This is the term we are looking for, and that is 12. To solve for that 12th term, apply the arithmetic sequence formula by substituting the value of a sub 1, d, and n. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Substitute for the value, a sub 12 is equal to 2, plus the quantity of n minus 1 times 5. Simplify first the number inside the parentheses. We have a sub 12 is equal to 2 plus 11 times 5. Then again, simplify the number a sub 12 is equal to 2 plus 55. Therefore, the value for a sub 12 or your 12th term is equal to 57. So let's try another example. We have example number two. Find the tenth term of the arithmetic sequence one, four, seven, and so on. First, we find a sub one, common difference, and the nth term. a sub one here is one. That is the first term. Next is the common difference. To solve for d, subtract the previous term from present term. Therefore, 
D is equal to 4 minus 1, that it is 3. Last is the nth term. This is the term we are looking for, and that is 10. To solve for the 10th term, again, we will apply the arithmetic sequence formula by substituting the values of a sub 1, t, and n. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. a sub 10 is equal to 1 plus the quantity of 10 minus 1 times 3. Simplify the number inside the parentheses, we have a sub 10 is equal to 1 plus 9 multiplied by 3. A sub 10 is equal to 1 plus 27. Therefore, the value of A sub 10 or the 10th term is equal to 28. Do you want more example? This is the last example for you. This is example number 3. Find the 16th term of the arithmetic sequence 8, 4, 0, and so on. First, we find a sub 1, the common difference, and the nth term. a sub 1 here is 8, that is the first term. Next is the common difference. To solve for d, subtract the previous term from the present term. That is, d is equal to 4 minus 8, then it is negative 4. Last is the nth term. This is the term we are looking for, and that is 16. To solve for the 16th term, we will apply the arithmetic sequence formula by substituting the values of a sub 1, d, and n. The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. a sub 16 is equal to 8 plus the quantity of 16 minus 1 times negative 4. Simplify first the number we have a sub 16 is equal to 8 plus 16 minus 1 is 15 multiplied by negative 4. a sub 16 is equal to 8 minus the product of 15 and negative 4 that is negative 60. Therefore, our 16th term is equal to negative 52. After giving you three examples, now it's your turn. I read first the direction for you. Write your answers on a separate answer sheet. Question number one. What is the 14th term? of the arithmetic sequence 5, 10, 15, and so on. Number two, what is the 37th term of the arithmetic sequence 3, 7, 11, so on. Number three, what is the 8th term of the arithmetic sequence 2, 0, negative 2, and so on. That's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next lesson. Bye!